Hello everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So you also might be stuck on the login screen of your Windows 11. Uh, probably you've forgotten the password to log into your account or the password you're trying to log in is not working for you. So whatever the problem is, and if you don't want to use any kind of software, any kind of USB or you're not available with that, then you can easily reset your Windows 11 login password without using any kind of software or without using any kind of USB. So on my end, you can see that I'm trying to enter the password and it's not working. So what you have to do from your keyboard, you will have to press and hold the shift key. And while holding, you need to press this power icon that is on the very right hand corner. And then click on restart and click on restart anyway. Now you can leave the shift key and this will restart the Windows 11 computer in the advanced options. So just wait for a while here. And this will take you to this kind of advanced page where it will give you multiple options to troubleshoot. So where it says choose an option, here you have to choose troubleshoot, click on it, then click on advanced options and then click on command prompt. Now once the command prompt page comes up, here in the black window you will have to type notepad and hit the enter key. The notepad will be up. In the notepad from the left hand top menu option, you have to click on file and click on open. And here from the left hand side, you have to first click on this PC. Make sure that you do exactly as I'm doing here, okay? Or else the process will not work for you. So from the left hand side, click on this PC. Then you have to go to local disk C. Then you have to look for Windows. Double click on it. In the Windows, you have to look for System32. So come to the S section and look for System32. Once you get it, make a double click on it again. Now in the System32, we have to rename two different files. But before that, below it says file of type. Make sure that you click on the drop down and choose it to all type so that uh, we can get the list of all the files available here. Once done, now the file you have to look for is by the name SETHC. So press the S key so that you can come to the S section. Then you have to keep pressing the S key until you find SETHC. Now searching this file can take a long time because it's a huge list here. So keep pressing the S key. And finally you will reach to this file that is SETHC. And this is exactly how it looks like. Now once you get it, make a right click on it. Choose rename. And you have to rename it. So after SETHC you can type dash crown or whatever you want to type, you can type it. Once done, we have to rename other file that will be by the name CMD. So now you have to search for CMD. And once you get it, again, make a right click on it, click on rename. And this you have to rename as ACTHC. Make sure that you don't make any kind of mistake. Once renamed, so we are all set from here. Now you can close this notepad and the command prompt and click on continue. And this will take you to the login page of your Windows 11. And here only the magic will start. So now from your keyboard, you need to press the shift key, the left hand side shift key for five times. So I will press here from my side. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll find that the command prompt page will be appearing up on the login screen. All right. And here only we can just uh, change the password of our local account. So what do you have to do? Type a simple command here. That will be net space local group space administrators you need to type exactly it will not be administrator it will be administrators once done hit the enter key and this will list you your local account and you can see that my local account is being listed here another command will be net space user type the username give a space and then type the star sign and hit the enter key now it will ask you for the password so type any of your desired password here for the example, I will type 12345. Now keep in mind the password will not be displayed here. So type very carefully. Then you have to retype it and bingo. So we are all done. Now let me close the command prompt page here. And this time I will type the same password here 12345. And once I click on this arrow icon, boom. So you can see that it's been successfully logged into our account. All right, so this is how exactly you can uh, reset. Uh, you can just recover your Windows password, login password, without using any kind of software, without using any kind of USB. But still, we are not done. 
let me show you. If I click on my Windows search and look for CMD, so you'll find that the command prompt is not working. And the reason is that we renamed this CMD to a different file name. So we have to correct it. We have to revert the action now as we are done with the resetting the password. So click on Windows icon, click on the lock icon. Again, you have to follow the same procedure. Press and hold the shift key, then press the power icon at the right hand corner. Click on restart, click restart anyway. Again, the advanced option page will be up. Now here you have to click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option and then click on command prompt. Type here notepad, hit the enter key. Click on file, click on open. Again, we will go to this PC. Then we have to go to local disk C, then the windows folder. Then we have to look for system32 and choose it to all files. Then we have to look for the same file, SETHC. And this time you will find both these files are very close so that you can quickly rename. The first you have to rename the SETHC file, that is the CMD file. So right click on it, choose rename. And this you have to rename back again to CMD. Then right click on this SETHC crown one. Right click and rename and remove this crown that we renamed. And that's it. Now you can close the notepad, you can close the command prompt. And this time, if I click on continue and the computer will be restarted. So I will log in with the same password that we created 12345. Bingo. And if I search for the CMD now, so you can see the command prompt is also working fine. So this is the best and the convenient way to reset your Windows 11 for getting password without using any kind of software and USB. And hopefully you enjoyed the video guys, found this information useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you on the next video. Bye-bye.